Gay? What gay? It's been erased. Dun dun dun! Hey Spuds, how's it going? It's Jamie, welcome back to another video, your first video on the channel. I don't know, but welcome either way, and today we're taking another look at the wonderful subreddit of Sappho and her friend, all about gay erasure, casual gay erasure, deliberate gay erasure, bisexual erasure, erasure of LGBTness. Yay! Mostly gay erasure. Yay! <laughs> But first, today's video is sponsored by Babbel, one of the top language learning apps in the world. So before we get started on the video, I just want to talk to you quickly about Babbel. It's a season of learning at the minute, the schools are back in, the leaves are changing colour, the sun's not out as much anymore, and neither are we. So why not try out learning something new? Babbel can broaden your horizons. I started learning French due to the overlap with Mauritian Creole, as Mauritius is where my partner and her family is from. And we want to teach our future children how to speak Creole, so it would be good if we could both be involved in that process, but I need to learn how to speak it first. Babbel is a wonderful app for learning languages, and I particularly love it because it feels in depth without being overcomplicated. And there's a lot of variation in the way you learn. There are podcasts, videos, games, live classes with top teachers, and of course, lessons, which are all designed by real language teachers, not machine learning algorithms or AI. The lessons teach real world conversations, so you can have practical conversations about business, travel, relationships, and more. I have learned quite a lot of phrases, ones that come in particularly useful to me include où sont les toilettes, where is the restroom, and je suis fatigué, I'm tired, because I'm always tired. So if you want to give Babbel a go and start speaking a new language in just three weeks, then click the link in my description box and get 60% off your subscription. And comment below what language you're planning on learning. Welcome back to the Gay Erasure, are we ready little spuds, let's go! Ooh, we're kicking it off with a video today. Doomed lovers discovered in archaeological dig of town destroyed by volcano. This young couple was discovered sharing a final embrace as they accepted their fate. One scientist said, it's heartwarming to see love that transcends death in this way. Hey Kevin, here's those lab results you asked for. They're both female. Two friends are amongst many discovered in archaeological dig of doomed town. <gasps> Friendship lasts forever when chance freezes you in time. <gasps> Just a couple of gals being pals, one scientist said. That's hilarious. I'm ridiculously accurate. Oh my god. Oh wait, they were the same gender? Oh my god, they can't possibly have been lovers. Okay, okay, change it. Friendship. Friendzone them. Best friends. Forever. Two gals being pals. There is literally the colour scheme of the lesbian flag all over this card. In the rainbow, in the headband, in the outfit. Like, come on. Best friend. Like, okay, cute, make your little best friend cards, not everything has to be gay, obviously, but when you theme it so much, like, if I saw that from a distance and I didn't read best friends, I would assume it was some kind of Valentine's anniversary card for a lesbian couple. It was such a beautiful wedding. Love you guys. Oh, congratulations. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, these are some comments. These pictures are beautiful. What a beautiful wedding. It truly was a beautiful ceremony. Absolutely gorgeous. Double wedding are both girls. Beautiful. Oh, they can't possibly be marrying each other. This must be a double wedding. Where are the grooms? Hi everyone, I'm still pissed we never learnt in school that Shakespeare was bi and wrote the sonnets about a dude and a WOC he was into. I didn't know that. Hi everyone, I'm still pissed that we were told Emily Dickinson was a spinster when she spent her whole life writing love letters to a woman. I didn't know that. Hi everyone. I'm still pissed about the fact that we never got taught any of the super, super gay Greek myths. It seems impossible to think they managed to pick all the hetero myths when Greece was just that gay. But guess what? They did. I kind of knew that one. Hi everyone. Virginia Woolf was also bi. I'm still pissed that so much of literature is queer and has queer coding within it that deserves to be analysed through that lens in the same way that we don't ignore the gender of an author, but sexuality is never mentioned in high school literature classes. It's not. Hi everyone, I'm still pissed that we were never taught that da Vinci was gay AF and that the ideal the Western world has of Jesus, white, long, straight brown hair, was based on one of his male lovers. I had absolutely no clue of any of that. Hi everyone, I'm still pissed that we were told Sir Isaac Newton died a virgin when he had multiple boyfriends over the course of his life, one of whom he wrote passionate love letters to and lived with. I didn't know that. Oh my god. I feel like I didn't know anything. There you go. You learn multiple new things every day. We're more than friends. Okay, this sounds like a relationshipy card. We're like a two-person gang. 
happy birthday. Is that a really strange way of saying we're best friends? It really sounded like it was building up to like a relationship type thing. Interesting choice of card. She was attracted to me. Intellectually attracted. It was an intellectual attraction. Actually, now that I recall, we might have kissed a few times on the cheek in a very platonic sisterly way since, well, I am gay. As in happy. She is so, so happy. You're taking this case, mister, right? Oh, hmm. Well, anyway, my sister is very straight. I have no idea where this is from. Why is somebody being like, straight up, I'm gay? And then the other person's like, nope, but gay erasure, girl. Lady Catherine Jones was an English philanthropist, philanthropist, phil philanth philanthropist? Philanthropist. Interested in women's rights and education and chose to be buried with her longtime friend, Mary Kendall, inside Westminster Abbey. Yes her friend, who she wanted to be buried alongside. Her friend. Maybe, not definitely. <laughs> Lovers of Medina, skeletons holding hands were both men. Study. Researchers believe the two might have been siblings, cousins, or soldiers who died together in battle. This is the real world article of that clip we started the video with. They listed a lot of different things that they could have been, not in there was lovers. It's called Lovers of Medina. Were they listed as potential lovers? No, what did they start with? Siblings. People also ask, who is Sappho and what did he do? Oh my god. Me learning cursive just to write love letters to my girlfriend only for historians to one day find it and label us as extremely close friends. That would be extremely rude and an extreme case of gay erasure. <laughs> Stor Stormé de la Vary, sorry if I just absolutely mispronounced that name, was an American woman known as the butch lesbian whose scuffle with police was, according to Stormy and many eyewitnesses, the spark that ignited the Stonewall Uprising, sp spurring the crowd to action. Oh wow. Who was her husband? Why has that come up? Was that like a AI generated suggestion of a question or something? Or is that like what people have searched? Two male friends holding hands because they're definitely not gay. <laughs> Stock images. <laughs> the woman has a wife. How is it possible for a woman to have a wife? Very simple, a woman marries another woman. Same way as when a man has a wife, they get married. Yeah. <laughs> That's such a strange question. How is this po- how? How would this possibly happen? How do you think? Laughing friends holding hands. They do look quite friendly. The straight girl's guide to sleeping with chicks. I have a feeling that if you're a woman who sleeps with and enjoys sleeping with other women, you're potentially not straight. Michelangelo wrote poems to another man, Tommaso de Cavalieri. After his death, his grandnephew published his poems and changed the pronouns of the person addressed from masculine to feminine. Excuse me? Bad grandnephew. Rude. Let's not do that. My partner is disabled and it can be hard for her to look for packages when they're not left at the door properly. I couldn't agree more. Giving your husband a really hard time where in fact they can just leave the package with an easy sight. Is there anything that can be done to help me and my girlfriend? They just ignored the pronoun. It can be hard for her. Giving your husband. Huh. Where did husband come from? If you're not sure, just say partner. My daughter insisted her new preschool teacher's name was Mr. Penis. We argued over it until one day we finally saw it in writing, Ms. Derpenis. Her name was Miss Derpenis or Derpanis. Derpanis. That's brilliant. Is that real? Oh my goodness. I'm not sure why it's on this subreddit, but it's funny, so I'll leave it in. Little Miss Besties. I like these little Miss and Mr. Men thingies, you know, they're quite cute. Little Miss Besties though. Not Uber emailing me gay emojis and telling me to celebrate friendship. It's time to celebrate friendship. Thanks. I will. Is two guys cuddling gay? Yes, 68%. No, 32%. Is two girls cuddling gay? Yes, 28%. No, 72%. Thomas had never seen such bullshit before. Now, a combination of gay erasure and also ignoring the fact that two guys can be affectionate towards each other as friends. Guys can hug each other and cuddle. That doesn't mean they're gay. But then massive assumption that when two girls show affection towards each other, oh no, they can't be gay. That's just what girls do. So it's like a, it's, it's a double-edged one then, depending on the gender of the people involved. And that's all the gay erasure for today. What did we think? Did you have a favourite one? What's your opinion? Do you have any examples of gay erasure? Obviously, not all of it is gay erasure. Gay erasure definitely exists. Some of it is really blindingly obvious. 
obvious, but then we also cannot go too far as to erase over platonic displays of affection, which is very important to acknowledge is a thing and that not everybody wants or is in a relationship or has a romantic or sexual connection with another person, but absolutely there was definitely a lot of gay erasure in this today. Leave your comments down below, think about giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing if you liked it. I'll be back very soon with some suddenly gay stuff to like refill the gay meter. I don't know what I'm talking about now. Anyway, on that note, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.